Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. I believe that each and every one of you can join with me and say, God is good. We have a way of saying God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. If you wake up, you find yourself alive, and given God praise, you can walk, you can talk, you can breathe, you can move. All that speaks of the goodness of God. God has been good towards us, and I trust that we will endeavor our best to be good to God. It's a joy for me to be able to come to you today and share with you words from the Word. It is my prayer that your hearts will be blessed as I share with you what God has shared with me. I want to thank you for listening, and I want to thank you for sharing. Because of you sharing, many of the folks get to hear the Word of God. Thank you for your partnership in this. I have said many times before that it is because of your partnership. Why? There are people that are not even close to us, people that we don't even know. Such people are hearing the Word of God. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And may God bless you as you continue to share. Today, I want to share with you a verse of a song, the song entitled, Only a Sinner, James M. Gray wrote these words, and he said, Not have I gotten, but what I receive. Grace has bestowed it since I have believed. Boasting excluded. Pride I abase. I'm only a sinner, saved by grace. Only a sinner, saved by grace. Only a sinner, saved by grace. This is my story. To God be the glory. I'm only a sinner saved by grace. And that's all we are, sinners saved by the grace of God. While there are some sinners that needs to be saved by the grace of God. For we all are sinners. And um, regardless of what we do, we cannot help ourselves. It is only God that would be able to help us as we yield ourselves uh, to Him. I want to start a little series speaking to you, and I've given this little series a title, I Have Sent. I'm going to go through the scriptures, and I'm going to share with you different ones who have acknowledged, it's not somebody else, but it is me. I have sent sin. So come with me in your Bibles to the book of Exodus. And I want to read from chapter 9 in the book of Exodus, verse 27 and verse 28. And then I'm going to read from chapter 10, verse 16 and 17. Exodus chapter 9, verse 27. And Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron and said unto them, I have sinned this time. The Lord is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Entreat the Lord, for it is enough, that there be no more mighty thundering and hail, and I will let you go, and ye shall stay no longer. Let me read verse 29. And Moses said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I'll spread abroad my hands unto the Lord, and the thunder shall cease. Neither shall there be any more hail, that thou mayest know that the earth is the Lord's. Come with me now to chapter 10 of Exodus, and let me read for you from verse 16. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste, and he said, 
I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you, and therefore forgive, I pray thee, my sin only this once, and entreat the Lord your God that he may take away from me the debt only. And he went out from Pharaoh and treated the Lord. I have sinned. We have noticed this several times. I believe the three most tragic words to be uttered that comes from the heart to the mouth, from the mouth to the ears of others. These words are, I have sinned. Time and time again in the Bible, we find men confessing and saying, I have sinned. The first one we notice is the man Pharaoh. Who is Pharaoh? He is the king of Egypt. As the children of Israel were down in Egypt, and God said in Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 and 8, he said to Moses, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, to bring them up out of the land unto a good land, and large, and flowing with milk and honey. In these verses, we see God made that promise to Moses, and God meant just what he said. Moses and Aaron went time and time again to Pharaoh after God had sent the plagues, but Pharaoh refused to let them go. If we look at chapter 9 of Exodus, and we begin reading from verse 30. Here's what the scripture says. Exodus chapter 9 and verse 13. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up all in the morning and stand before Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus said the God of the Hebrews, Let my people go that they may serve me. Now I want you to see that God was not just freeing the children of Israel so that they could be free. He wanted to free them so that they could serve him. Verse 14, For I will at this time send all my plagues upon thine heart and upon thy servants and upon thy people, that thou mayest know that there is none like me in all the earth. For now I will stretch out my hand that I might smite thee and thy people with pestilence, and thou shalt be cut off from the earth. And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up, for to show in thee my power, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. As yet exaltest thou thyself against my people, that thou wilt not let them go. Behold, tomorrow, about this time, I will cause it to rain a very grievous hail, such as had not been in Egypt since the foundation thereof, even until now. Send therefore now and gather thy cattle, and all that thou hast in the field. For upon every man and beast we shall be found in the field, and shall not be brought home, the hail shall come down upon them, and they shall die. He that feared the word of the Lord among the servants of Pharaoh made his servants and his cattle flee into the houses. And he that regathered not the word of the Lord left his servants and the cattle in the field. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch forth thine hand towards heaven, that, thou, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt upon man and upon beast and upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched forth his rod towards heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail and fire 
ran along upon the ground, and the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. So there was hail and fire mingled with the hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. And the hail smoth throughout all the land of Egypt, all that was in the field, both man and beast. And the hail smoth every herb of the field and break every tree of the field, only in the land of Goshen where the children of Israel were, was there no hail. And Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron and said unto them, I have sent this time, the Lord is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. After God allowed judgment to come upon Pharaoh and upon the land of Egypt, Pharaoh was sinning all the time. But he never stopped to realize what he was doing is sin. He never confessed that he had sin. But when God sent judgment upon him, he called for the men of God. And he said to the men of God, I have sin. Sometimes, in order for man to recognize that he has sinned, that he is wrong, God must allow judgment to come upon him. These words were hard coming from the mouth of fear, but he learned and he said to Moses, entreat the Lord for it is enough that there be no more mighty thundering and hail and I will let you go and ye shall stay no longer. Moses came to him, told him to let the children of Israel go. He refused to let them go when everything was normal. But when God allowed this to happen to him, he said, I will let them go. Sad to say, he only said it with his mouth. He did not mean it. Today, each and every one of us need to stop and pay attention to the fact that we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I trust that these words will encourage you until next morning when we will build upon this again and see from the scriptures others who have confessed that they have sinned. May God bless you as you share this word with others today. God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you for sharing.